Hello guys, my name is Matt from studiojollyroger.com and today I want to experiment with uh, another video format. Usually we just post the pictures of our work, uh, but recently I just got a little bit more interested with videos, so I wanted to record a kind of a model showcase when I'm able to talk a little bit more about the model and show you from a few different angles and maybe disclose a little bit more details about the process. And I haven't painted this model, this guy is painted by my team, so I'm only a spectator in this case, so maybe I will talk more about the results and uh, our ideas for the model. So this guy is painted for uh, a prize uh, for Warhammer 40k London tournament. It was some time ago when the tournament took place so this guy is probably in already some player hands so if you are somehow watching this and having this guy at your shelf I congratulations. So we could do anything with this guy, we just need to provide one miniature for the prize pool and we could pick any color scheme, any pattern or actually any details. And, but I decided to go with something classic, mostly because I wanted uh, it to be useful for a new owner and I knew this guy is pretty popular so it seems like very good choice. And we are also pretty good with painting red, so it's always a good idea to do something uh, with our favorite color. And I must say I'm really proud with the results of their work, they, really, they did a really good job, so I think the new owner will be very happy. Uh, this was actually the first Imperial Knight we ever painted. Uh, so it was a little bit a challenge, but it's a Games Workshop model, so the quality is very, very good. And it also was our first serious experience with using decals, which were awesome actually. I was very skeptic uh, at the beginning. I, for my whole Warhammer career, I never used decals uh, in any situation. I guess I just didn't know how to use them properly but um, this model uh, we gave it a shot and it worked great I'm really really uh, surprised how good they look I guess I should be a little bit less boneheaded and use uh, new techniques more often I will probably do uh, a quick tutorial how to apply the decals properly because it's very easy and the re results are awesome. Another detail is uh, all the moving parts. I, I don't know if you ever assembled the Imperial Knight but it has a lot of moving details and I have really mixed feelings about the moving parts because it's really ingenious and the quality of model is very high but uh, I still treat all the Warhammer miniatures like models, not toys and the moving parts are really uh, similar to like small G.I. Joe models. But it's only my taste, I guess it's really great when you can move the weapon or even uh, disassemble them. And on this model we decide to go like the middle way, so they, you can move uh, his weapons but not as much as it would be possible with original um, assembling uh, and uh, his head or, or the smaller weaponry is just glued for, for good, uh, only the main weapons are movable. But if you decide to um, 
assemble them uh, this guy as instruction then that you would be able to uh, remove the weapons entirely and uh, his head uh, smaller guns and the turret at the back would be possible to move very freely okay that's pretty much it i hope uh, this small format experiment will work and if you enjoyed this video let me know and see you next time cheers